what's going on guys it's Cameron again today's video I'm gonna be showing you both tanks again I rescaped a little bit of both of them um, because when I went to the fish the fish store on that tour video I actually got some more Dragonstone and I put it in the 36 gallon so I'll be showing you that one and then the 10 gallon I kind of rescaped and added another plant took out some stuff changed stuff around so let me know what y'all think here we go so here's the 36. More Dragonstone across the front. And the Crypt, Flam the Flamingo Crypts right there, three of them. The Petchies right there. And I sh put basically, not really shoved, but all the other uh, Winty Crypts all in that corner to give it like a little forest look. Um, I moved the Driftwood back in the center. I got the two different uh, Anubis on them. More of the Crypt Fetch here over here. I kind of put, there's three plants right here. Kind of created like this little, little bush effect on them. A little algae on them still, but most of it is gone right now. And then the Crypt Parva from the, the 10 gallon, the beta tank. I just shoved it in here right now. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. It's probably not going to stay right there, but we'll see. It would be cool if it carpeted right there. Um, create this little dragon stone rock thing. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I just kind of threw them together real quick to see what it would look good. The Amazon sword's doing okay. I keep cutting pieces back because it was really getting attacked by algae. But... Other than that, everything else in here is doing good. They're pretty hungry right now, since it's early. I haven't fed them yet. But yeah, I just kind of basically wrapped Dragonstone all the way around the driftwood. And I'll be adding more moss to the driftwood. And probably some Anubis Nana Petite little small ones. So I can put them in certain little spots here and there. And then the rest moss. Uh, moss. All the fish and snails are doing good. There's one right here. It's kind of funny how they eat. Their little mouth moving. Alright. So, hope y'all like that one. Let's check out the 10 gallon. Here we go. Let's focus. So, I kind of moved the rocks around a little bit. They're in different positions. There you go, there's Spike. Come on. Show them off. Show off for them. There you go. Um, little movements here and there of different things. Um, really nothing much going on here. The Crypt's still in the back. The Nubis in the same spot. Got a little algae on it. I'm going to have to get a Nearite Snail for this one. Or probably, I'm probably going to add Shrimp at some point too. But I also added some uh, Bacopa to the back. It was actually in a, um, it was actually a, what's the word? Ah, I can't think right now, that's funny. Um, what was it? show him off while I think about it. He's probably hungry too. Was it... Ah, that's what it was. They were from a tissue culture. So I just wanted to try it and see how they had done. Um, I used to uh, tissue culture in the past. My... Actually, all the Crip Petchy were all tissue culture, and they all started pretty small, and they got in that big. The roots on them are so long, it's ridiculous. But, there's olive green here, right? So, I hope y'all like, like this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below, be ready for more videos. I'll probably be adding fish to the 36, a couple more of the 
Phantom Tetra and the Skirt Tetra probably tomorrow or Tuesday. So, just thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so then you know when the next one's ready. And thanks for watching.